Welcome to Export Kit. In this example, we're going to demonstrate using Animate CSS to create various animations for your HTML website far beyond the default prototyping of Adobe XD. Now this is very easy to add into any project and you can apply this to any element within your project. Now animate.css has many best practices for animating your entire website, but it's very easy to do. And what we're going to do is basically add it to our XD application right now. Uh, so let's get started. Now remember to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for updates. And let's jump right in. So the very first thing we want to do is once we have a blank project, we're actually going to start from scratch. Uh, let's give an area that we're actually going to animate content. So let's just draw little square here. Let's make this a gray tone. Animation. And let's actually just make this a lot larger so we can see it. Change the color to black. All right, let's actually increase the size now just so this is a bit more prominent. Okay, here we go. Okay, so reading the instructions of Animate CSS, uh, the first thing it says, and we're not installing with Node, so it uh, simply says we can add a link tag, so let's do that. So we're gonna create a global artboard And let's add some raw text to this. So this is going to be our link for animate CSS. And let's actually call this raw. Now, once we have this, what this will do is load the library for animate CSS within the project. Uh, let's actually call this animation test. So let's actually run our animation test now to see how this exports first. So you'll see we have a pretty large area to cover uh, for our animation. And this is based on our display of our screen. So let's just actually shrink this so we can see a couple animations at once. Let's call this animation. Animation. And once we move it to reposition, we should actually be able to see now a bit more of them. So if we go back to the instructions of Animate CSS, it says now to basic usage is that we must include Animate Animated as a, a class name for CSS. And we also can include any animation name as long as we include a prefix for Animate. And their animation names, let's take a look. We have bounce, flash, pulse, rubber band, shake. There's a lot. So uh, this is far more than the default XD. And let's actually just uh, take a look at some of the top ones really quick. So we have bounce. So let's add bounce to our project. Let's copy this directly. Now, because we're going to be styling the text as a CSS style, so there's a default style for the text. So what we can do is we can just copy it to our artboard select the layer and group it let's call it css styles let's call this uh let's call this animate animated so it applies with all text layers okay so this will give us a default state for our text so now let's add our class style to our text element And what this should do is give us a bounce effect. At least based on the documentation. So let's test it. Now, really quick before we export, let's actually just make sure this is a label text because paragraph uh, will render slightly differently in HTML. It'll actually try to translate some information and we don't want it to do that. 
and let's go ahead and export now let's test fantastic we have the bounce animation let's add a few more uh, the fastest way to add more would actually be to create a repeat grid so let's go ahead and do that um, I'm not sure how many layers we'll be able to fit uh, but let's test it let's try three for now let's add a few more and then let's just resize these afterwards now that we have the grids let's go back into the grid uh, let's add animate infinite to this fantastic now that we know the grid can actually support a few more I wonder the best way to change this I'm actually gonna add the name of the animation along with uh, the animation effect that I'm using so this is called uh, bounce and to the extent that we can add the name and the next one let's call this flash and I'm really adding these at, at random as long as the name fits let's call this pulse Okay, I think that's actually probably enough effects. Let's just delete the additional ones. Extra space at the bottom. So you'll see here we added a fair bit of effects. And if we take a look at them, uh, you'll see that in essence, all we did was add the styles to each. Now, we already demonstrated how we added the styles. So let's just jump right in and see how this looks. Now, we have infinite, so this should go on. Pretty much forever. Wow. Look at this. Easily add any type of animation effect to any element in your XD design, far beyond prototyping. You'll see we did this pretty quickly.